Hey, what's up, Skura? And welcome back to another Dantless Builds video. So, for this video, I'm gonna show you this new Umbral Protector build, and this time it's gonna be for the chain blades. So, yeah, uh, without further ado, let's get right into the build. The Omni Cell is gonna be the Revenant Omni Cell. The weapons are Night Terrors with plus 3 Catalyst, plus 3 Berserker, Special Reaper's Dance, Mod the Sorkin Blades, and the Bond is gonna be the Stalker Strap. For the Lantern, it's gonna be the Scarn's Defiance with plus 3 Catalyst, Helmet is Dark Watch with plus 3 Overpower. Torso is Craving Jacket with plus 3 Adrenaline. Gauntlets are gonna be Time Gauntlets with plus 3 Predator. And lastly, Leggings are Thrax Sky with plus 3 Predator. As for the Tonics, we're gonna go for the Frenzy, Ace Drive, and Bliss Tonics. Now, for the cosmetic side of the build, uh, for the uh, weapons are gonna be the Stalker Strap. Lantern is Aura Conduit. Helmet is the Seismic Hazmask. Torso is gonna be the Living Blade Carapace. Uh, gauntlets are Malevolent Reach. And last but not least, leggings are gonna be the adamant leg guards. So yeah, that was the build, and these are cells right here. But before we get right into cells and what these cells do, make sure to sub to the channel and like the video. And also, let's mention our viewers and subscribe to the channel, so if you do, I'd really appreciate that too. So yeah, now for the cells, we have plus 6 adrenaline, plus 6 catalyst, plus 6 cunning, plus 6 overpower, plus 6 predator, plus 3 essence frenzy, and lastly, plus 3 berserker. So that was the build, and now, and now let's go into some kind of hunter and test uh, this build out. For example, let's go to the uh, let's go to the Cauldroner key. Why not? Uh, have not been there quite uh, for quite a while. So we're currently on level seven on chain blades, and the hunter grounds is the level twelve. And here we are in the Cauldroner key. Let's see what behemoth we got. We have the Pangor, uh, the uh, what's called uh, Frostwolf, and the Nasher. First, let's go to the Pangor because it's closest to us. Of course, for a fight, let's use our tonics to get the most maximum bonuses out of it. Let's go for the Sager, maybe. There we go. Okay, let's use our uh, uh, lantern. Why not? Okay, this is level 13 Panger, so it's not gonna be really uh, hard nor, nor really easy. So while it's down, let's use our Revenant. And we're gonna get our heavy slam attack and let's go, come on! Oh, we missed that! Come on, dude! Okay. It's fine, it's fine, we move. There's this. And it's gonna go down in in a little bit, quite about now. I predict with this heavy slam, it's gonna go down. There we go! 5 point something K damage and also 6 point something K something something K damage for the staggered damage, <laughs> I think. That was quite quite a lot of uh, damages, <laughs> damage words in that one sentence, but that's okay. Okay, next up let's go to the Frost Wolf. Not really a cool behemoth uh, in my opinion, really annoying one, again. And then we're gonna go for the Gnasher, and let's see uh, what else, what behemoth are gonna spawn. Uh, Later. Hello, Frostwolf. What's up? Touch this. And again. Wait, what happened? It glitched out. <laughs> okay. We're gonna go for this tiger. Oh, shoot. Come on. We missed that. Okay. Another chance. There we go. It hit, it hit us, but that's okay. Through the Revenant. To get. Must damage and our heavy slam attack 4.1k damage, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, it's gonna go for another leap and we're gonna stagger it. Of course, that's what we do. Lord, they don't have health. Health, love to see it. Love to see it. And it's going for another leap. Okay. I'm gonna go for our heavy slam attack. 9.7k damage, that's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I like that. Next up, next up, let's go to the Nashor, which is quite miles ahead of us, but that's okay. I'm gonna go there real quickly. Oh, I'm. I missed that. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay. I'm here. <laughs> okay, let's use our tanics before we go into the battle. Hello. Okay, I think we can stagger this or not. Okay. 
Strike in. Ah, come on, dude. Really? Okay. And no need to dodge there. Let's go for a heavy slam attack. Let's see, okay, three points something K damage, that's okay. That is okay. Go for another revenant, why not? Playing a little bit risky here, but that's okay. We're using chain blade, so we're really fast and really agile. Seven, seven, and there we go, 7k damage. Almost couldn't speak right there. <laughs> okay, next up, we still got time, so let's go for the panger, why not? I want to try. I wanted to try out this build against Savit, but. Uh, it seems like there is no, no so it's spawning in this uh, session, so it's okay. Can ignore that. <laughs> There's this. Oh. Okay, there we go. Almost, I almost got hit there. Oh, there we go. So, so it's spawned. Nice, nice. Bit neat. And there we go. We're gonna. Uh, Take care of the, take care of this thing really uh, easily. Another part break. Let's go. Let's use revenant and the heavy slam. Oh, come on! It moved all the way. And there we go. Panger is down too. And lastly, for our last behemoth, let's go to the Savit, which is not really high level, which is only level nine, level eleven. So. It's okay, that's okay. And two row against our final behemoth, Savit. One of the most, if not the most beh annoying behemoth in the game. They both know. I don't know what they're gonna add in the future, but as of this recording, this is one of the most annoying behemoth in my opinion, of course. We don't have any stamina left, so careful. Let's go for heavy slam attack. Let's go, part break, and let's use our revenant. Oh, we missed that! Come on. It's shame. It's shame. Yeah, this time I won't miss, right? Okay, there we go. I'm gonna go for the heavy slam attack again for his legs. Oh, we didn't get part break. Really? Oh, there we go. Oh, we're sitting on 4 health and quite about shields, but uh, that's okay. <laughs> okay, I pressed it accidentally, but <laughs> it worked for our, for our favor, so I'm not gonna question anything. Okay, let's see, and there we go, so it's down too. So yeah, that was the uh, Umbral Protector build for the Chain Blades. And if, you know, and if you don't want any specific builds, you can comment down below and I'll make them in the future. So yeah, this has been Gyora, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.